This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tess Raffles. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. This morning, a Valley woman is coming forward saying she is the mother of that little girl believed to have died inside a Maryvale home years ago. That little girl's remains found after a fire in that home. Now, the medical examiner's office has yet to identify the bones inside the house, but the couple arrested after the remains were found, Maribel and Rafael Loera, are still in jail this morning. The woman says if the remains are identified as her biological daughter, she would like to give her a proper burial. New details this morning about the six-year-old boy killed in that tragic accident Monday. Police say Holden Gardner, a kindergartner at Falcon Hill Elementary School, was hit by a semi-truck as it was turning a corner. Initial reports show he was on the sidewalk right near Power and Jensen when the trailer sadly hit him. A family friend says the boy's parents are just devastated. It's really hard for me because I've, I've spent time with the little boy. Uh, it, it, it's really hard. They're a great, wonderful, loving family. Mesa police are still investigating, but they say the truck driver has not gotten a ticket and isn't facing any charges. Macy's is losing some of its magic. The iconic retailer just announced plans to close another 125 stores across the country over the next several years. That's nearly one fifth of their stores. Arizona taking a big hit. That's because the company, as we've told you before, is closing its Tempe customer contact center this month. I'm Kylie Cruz with your Wednesday forecast. Be prepared for another very chilly morning across the valley and especially up north in the high country with morning lows in the 30s and then some locations seeing temperatures dropping down into the upper 20s. By lunchtime, we're going to be at 52 degrees. We'll see a high today of 55 degrees, so well below average for this time of the year. Look for mostly sunny skies today. Temperatures will warm up after today, thankfully. 62 degrees for your Thursday. 68 for Friday. We're back in the 70s for the weekend. And then another storm system impacts us at the start of next week, bringing rain chances back to the forecast for Monday and Tuesday. A little bit of a roller coaster. Thank you, Kylie. For updates on more stories we're following, just download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Tess Raffles. Have a great Wednesday.